this like having him as a partner? It's exciting. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm obviously very excited. Um, I've been a fan of the show for a really long time, and so watching Derek throughout the seasons with all of his partners, I've always been very mesmerized by just the way that he um, choreographs and moves, and I think it's just... Way I um, move like yeah, this? Yeah. Move like that? <laughs> yeah. But it, it, clearly it's, like, worked out so well, both of us being in New York. This is the only way it really would have worked out, so it's just... Um, Perfect. It's Perfect meant though. to be serendipity. Meant to be. I mean, how, you must have been so psyched going, oh my God, I got her. This is it. We're I was <laughs> psyched. I, mean, I was like, I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nasty looking girl. Yeah. No, I was. I was really excited. Um, actually, to be honest with you, previously when we were trying to figure it out and work it out, I actually was going to be paired with somebody else. But then they pulled out last second and I was like, oh, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. And then two days before the announcement, they're like, wait. We found someone who's in New York. It can work. Are you are you up for it? I'm like, absolutely. And here we are with the one and only Nastya, ripping it up. And here we are. We're Super metal woman. about to go on. <laughs> right? That's it. But for you, it was a last minute chance, uh, change of heart too, right? To come back to the show. It was hard for me to be away from this, you know, season because it's the 10th anniversary. So I, I felt a little bit like uh, kind of torn. Was, yeah. I was a little torn. Mm -hmm. But, um, but, you know, I knew there was a glimmer of hope that I could figure it out and make it happen, mm -hmm. that I was going to try. And so here we are. We're going we're gonna to make it happen. I mean, it's a grueling schedule for you because you're doing one show and you're rehearsing for this show. So I, I see your energy, so it's probably <laughs> not as hard. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's, you know, it's the ultimate way to practice living in the moment, mm -hmm. like the ultimate test because... If I, for a second, if I get caught up with what, I, what we have to accomplish or what we have to, you know, do ahead of us, or mm -hmm. what, it's just going to be overwhelming. So now it's like a true test of just, like, staying in the moment. Right now, I'm just talking with you. I'm talking with Nasia, and this is all that exists right now, and that's all I'm worrying about right now. And you always use your strengths of your partner, right? So I imagine you'll incorporate your gymnastic abilities, yes? I mean, a little bit, but it's actually been funny because... Be because I've been a gymnast for 20 years, I've noticed, and Derek has kind of told me, that a lot of my gymnastics move, just like the way I hold my hands or my hip position, everything's complete opposite of what we need to do. So it's almost like this muscle memory is instilled in my body, and now 20 years of work, like I have to completely do the opposite. So it's taking a little bit of time, yeah. Well, he always actually, makes fun of my gymnastics No, no. Moves. A little bit. Just kidding. Just a, a little, little bit. bit. Just a little bit. No, 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 no. It, it's without a shadow of a doubt. There's, you know, we have a lot of, you know, assets, and we can do some really amazing things and do do good stuff. And but you know, we're gonna. It's also you know keeping with the, the dance with star style, but also trying to figure out ways that we can do some things that are different. You know, I, I'm right now trying to think of stuff that we can do that I've never done personally because I haven't been able to or, or just things that she could only do, you know what I mean? And so it's trying to figure out what that is. You so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. You know what I want more than anything? What? More than a mirror ball, more than, more than it's, it's, it's much more than that. What I want is to just sit back every week and go like, yeah, good job. That was good. That was a good dance. That was a good dance. And then as long as that happens, then regardless of the hardware or the result or the score, that's really, that's the best feeling. And, and that's, that's not like even a PC answer. That's a true, real answer. It is, and I think we've <laughs> actually, we've Derek. talked about it too. I mean, that's the way I was in my gymnastics career. I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously you want to win a gold medal. Like, that. you'd be lying to say, like, I don't want to go out there and win a gold medal. But I think it's also, you know, what I really learned too with that, throughout my career, it's about the journey, you know, and it's about just, like, being able to go out there and perform and say, I gave it my all. I did the best that I could, and I think that's kind of what we're doing is, you know, just and having fun. And it, it is hard. You know, Derek has a lot going on. I'm in school full-time at NYU, and so it's kind of balancing all these things and putting it together, but I think... I think it's also exciting, too. I think It is for, exciting. Instead of, like, looking at it and going, like, oh, there's a lot... I'm like, oh, there's a lot going on. Great. Feed off there's, of it. there's energy. Let's just keep it going. You know, um... It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. To, hey, I have a question. Has, does anybody ever, like, like get nervous before they go do, like, a gymnastics routine? Yeah, and I they, and they just And they just do this, and they just get stuck, and they just keep doing this? <laughs> Are you saying I'm going to do that? <laughs> they're, like, they're like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. So they just keep, like, going, thank you. <laughs> and, and again, 
I'm gonna go again. No. That's what I probably would do. I would just keep doing that until I the just Well, I might me do off. that with dancing. I might just like stand there like this. And I'll just do voltages around. <laughs> yeah, you. yeah. I'll be like uh, sports management. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And what year are you? I'm a junior, so I have about a year left. So that was also kind of like when I found out about this opportunity, I knew I didn't want to take a semester off because I'm pretty like on track. I want to graduate before the Rio Olympics, and um, I'll be going to Rio to commentate for NBC. So it was like I, I couldn't take time off of school. I need to continue going to school, and um, so it just worked out perfectly. That's great. And any old injuries that you're worried about? Um, just being old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Hey, I know you said twenty years of gymnastics. I was yeah. like, whoa, girl. No, I think um, I'm fine. Like, I mean, little aches and pains, but um, my dad says, who was my coach my entire career, he always said, if you wake up one morning without anything hurting, that means you're dead. <laughs> Which is like a little exaggerated, but who said this? <laughs> my dad. dad. Your, but dad, it's true. your dad's like, Russian, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's true. Like, I mean. You know, there's always going to be little aches. When you're training or dancing or doing anything for five to seven hours a day, it's kind of inevitable for something not to. I mean, little things like your pinky toe might hurt. You know, so there's um, there's little aches. There's, yeah. Yeah. My my goal is for that not to happen. <laughs> but she's true. There's always something. I think even like the sports and athletes say that every time you're never 100. percent There's just yeah. it doesn't exist. 100 percent doesn't exist physically. So you have to be mentally strong. That's my injury right there. My injury is head trauma because I must be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh. The pride of Parker, Texas became the pride of the nation when she won the individual all-around gold at the 2008 Olympics. Well, she's going for the gold again, the gold mirror ball trophy on the 20th season of Dancing with the Stars. We caught up with her having just hosted the Nastia Lucan Cup at AT&T Stadium. Just being able to come here and watch the Cowboys and then walk in here and have signage with my name on it, it was just so surreal. Equally surreal, developing a whole new set of skills on the ballroom floor. I have no dance experience, so um, I don't really have an up to anybody in that. Like, I've never taken a dance class in my life or anything. Her teacher, none other than five-time dancing champ, Derek Huff. He wasn't going to compete this season because he's performing at Radio City Music Hall, but it came to together perfectly. Here's a sneak peek at their rehearsal. That's it, because I'll grab it. Boom. Yeah, I did get lucky with Derek. I did. Um, but you know, it only would have worked out if it was with Derek because we're both in New York. I'm in school full time at NYU. So, um, you know, we both have a lot on our plates, but I think it'll be a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to it. And what kind of Nastia will we see? Obviously, I feel like I'm more of like a classical, maybe like ballroom type dancer. I'm not so, I don't know if I'll be so good at like the cha cha and the samba and stuff, but. Um, but it's really fun because it takes me outside my comfort zone. But don't count on her to bring the sexy on. I think with me, I have um, a huge following, as we see here, of young gymnasts. And so um, with everything from costume choices to music choices and dances, you know, I definitely want to keep it um, so my little fans are able to watch. A classy champ embarking on a new legacy. Of all who have gone dancing with the stars, Derek Huff is the biggest winner. Jennifer and Derek! Five stars have gone home with the Mirrorball Trophy after dancing with Derek. And yet... My first week ever on every every season i feel like i don't know what i'm doing his partner this time former olympic gymnast nastia lukin knows he's just being modest um it does give me a lot of confidence knowing that um he is the best of the best go this midtown rehearsal hall is located within radio city where derek is appearing on stage in the spring spectacular just a short subway ride from nyu where nastia is a junior majoring in sports management. When we're here, there's nothing else. You know, it's like I'm not thinking about school, he's not thinking about his other show, and I think that's the only way you can do it. Given their commitments here in the city, their first number sure makes sense. 
We're dancing to New York, New York. But their bi-coastal commitments will make for an especially demanding schedule. And I got exhausted just listening to Derek explain it. Well, I'm doing uh, 10 shows of the New York Street Spectacular uh, during the week. Then Sunday, I finish a few shows. I get a red eye to L.A. I go straight to the studio to film Dancing with the Stars. And then I go straight to the airport, and then I fly back to New York. I arrive Tuesday morning. Gymnast Nastia Lukin is in good hands. Derek Huff is the only professional to have won Dancing with the Stars five times. Amber and Derek! It does give me a lot of confidence knowing that um, he is the best of the best. I'm very lucky to have been partnered with Derek. We hadn't met before this going in. It's like, all right, nice to meet you and dance. Now, like a few weeks in, um, we're getting to know each other really well, both in terms of dancing and just our personalities. Dance with Stars is so close to home. It's, so, it's such a special place in my heart. And the fact that Nasty is, is an Olympic athlete and to say that, that there's not sort of a you know, a massive asset in that, it would be, you know, I'd be lying. We're going for girl. We're going all the way. I am reaching for that gold mirror ball trophy.